Welcome to the Cavalier Sports Report. I'm your host, Mackenzie Moore, and today we have with us women's basketball player, Juanita Robinson. Juanita, thanks for coming in. Thanks, sir. And before we start talking about uh, what you guys are doing this season, which you guys are doing really good in the first couple games, but we'll talk about uh, the end of last year. You guys had a heartbreaking loss to Highland at the buzzer, 76-75. Can you discuss how that experience, uh, what it brings to the returning players this year? Well, last year it was lost with like 2.5 seconds on the clock. Um, miscommunication on defense, but it was a learning experience for all the returning freshmen. And it, in a way, let us know that anybody can be beat, whether it's miscommunication, someone not talking, anything, any nature. I mean, it was kind of heartbreaking because we worked so hard throughout the season to get to that point, and it kind of fell out of our hands at the end of the, at the, end of the game. Did that experience maybe change uh, how you guys conducted yourselves in the off season? Did it give you any sort of like, you know, focus or dedication in your workouts? Well, about two weeks after the loss, our coach printed up a picture of them holding up the regionals trophy, which it fueled a lot of us. Springtime, we went every day hard, as possible as we can, with workouts, in the weight room, running out on the track, hitting the stairs. It brought a lot of motivation in, into this year's group two to let them know that we don't want the same thing to happen again. Last year you had really solid uh, averages for points, assists, rebounds. You even had uh, about a steal per game last season. Which part of your game do you think is most important to this team? Um, bringing it every day on every given night, whether it's in practice or it's we playing against a team that we know that we can beat, but me just being steady and being consistent and being there for my teammates. What part of your game do you think you've improved the most during your time here at JCCC? Um, getting my emotions under control. That's something I'm still working on. Being mature, growing up a little more. Um, on and off the court too, classroom, basketball, practice, and also being a team leader. The first couple of games this season, uh, you had a decisive victory and then a 60-point blowout victory. Uh, in these kind of games, how do you and your teammates keep yourself focused and you know make sure that you're getting better instead of maybe coasting to a victory? Uh, early on in the season, it's not really about your opponent. It's about getting better what we need to do. Like in certain games, we work on what we might have not done really good in practice. We try to fix it in games, see what we can work on and watch the film and come back the next day and work on the mistakes. You have a couple teams with the way that you're playing. You have a couple uh, universities from the Big 12, even the SEC, that are looking at you to go to their school. What factors are going to go into your plans for after this season? Mm. What school has my major? Is it close to home? How far is it from home? How is the program ran and certain things as in with education? How, is it, how do they conduct? for me to be able to succeed outside of basketball and further into my life. That's a good answer. Well, whichever team you end up picking, I know they're going to have a really great basketball player when you get there. Juanita, thanks for coming in today. Thank you. That's it for this edition of the Cavalier Sports Report. I'm Mackenzie Moore. Thanks for watching.